hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing good today today i am going to be showing you how i made this dress you can wear it alone as a dress and you can wear it as a top so i used two meters of crepe fabric so that is two meters by 60. if this is your first time on this channel thank you for clicking to watch please like share and subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber please like and share and also please drop your comments guys i love to read from you let's get to it let us assume this is my fabric so what i did was to come to one corner and fold it on the opposite corner after folding you're going to see some excess fabric here on the side but don't bother about that then you're going to fold like this and this is what we are going to work with so i have folded this is a double fold this is going to be my shoulder line and this is going to be the center front and the center back so if you're on the big side i would advise you not to fold into four okay don't fold it this way instead in order to get a longer length and a wider breadth this is your two meters fold it this way just like you're folding a triangle So when you fold it this way, this will be your shoulder line, this will be your neck region, this will be the center front and this will be the bottom. I hope you understand. So you'll be cutting two of this, one for the front and one for the back. So it's almost the same thing, it's just that you'll be using more fabric. You'll be using about 4 meters of fabric if you're doing this method. Unlike this one I'm wearing where I use 2 meters, alright. For the neck width I'll use 4 inches. And for the neck depth, I use 3.5 inches. For the back, I'll use 1 inch. Then I'll connect the neckline. So just as a guide, this is going to be the length of my dress. And I have about 42 inches. Now, from the top, I'm going to take my hips measurement. So my shoulder to hips is 23 inches. I'll mark 23 inches. Now I'm going to measure my mid neck to my sleeve. So I want 25 inches, but I want the band to be about 3 inches. So I'm going to measure 22 inches here. From the 22 inch mark you come down by your round arm measurement divided by 2 my round arm measurement is 10 so divided by 2 that is 5 inches from this mark i'll come in by about 2 inches and then i'll connect this 2 inch mark to here Then from here, I'll connect down. When you get here, you have two options. You can make it go straight down to form like a triangle, or you can curve it like this. After that, I'll cut it out. So first, I'm going to cut this way. While cutting this part, you can leave about 0.5 inch sewing allowance and for hair as well. For the neckline, I'm going to cut the back neckline first, 0.5 or 0.25 inch above. And for the front neckline, you just bring out the back pattern like this and realign. Then I'm going to cut out this part which is the front neckline, 0.5 or 0.25 inches above. All right, so this is my neckline. For the band, I want about three inches, like I said. So I'll fold my fabric into four, this way. Measure what you have here. I have 10.5, I'll mark 
10.5 inches so I'm going to measure 3 inches 3.5 rather because I'm going to use 5 inches to sew and cut it out so this is the band for the two sleeves so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to sew it like this right side is up and then I'll place it on the sleeve on the other sleeve as well I'll do the same thing okay now that we are done with that for the neckline I'm going to cut a facing okay so to cut the facing you're going to place the wrong side of the fabric on the table like this the wrong side of the fabric and then you place the neckline on it trace out the neckline on the inner fabric and you mark all your notches as well so i'll be cutting about two inches away from what i have okay then i'm going to cut the inner circle as the radius okay this is what i have so i'm just going to place it on the neckline okay so you're going to sew around with a 0 0.25 or 0 0.5 inch seam allowance after doing this the sleeve and sewing the facing i'm going to come back to show you what next to do okay so i have sewn the sleeve this is it i've done the other one as well and okay i've sewn the facing to the neckline now the next thing i'm going to do is to sew the sides remember this line that we drew for the hip line right extend the line up to here to the other side and then when you're sewing you sew from here straight down to this line the other side as well sew from here straight down to this line and then you can hem the fabric all right you can understitch the neckline as well notch and then understitch so that the facing will stay in place and that will be all thank you very much for watching this tutorial i hope it was helpful if it was please like share and subscribe and please turn on the notification bell and also please drop your comments guys please drop your comments thank you very much till we see you again next time take care of yourself bye